Hello everyone, CRISPR-Cas9 system, a novel genome editing mechanism, a very frequently asked question for various exams. So in this video, we are cracking down this CRISPR-Cas9 system in just three minutes. So the first and foremost, we should understand what is it. It is a novel genome editing mechanism. So where is it present? It is a present inside the bacteria. So it is a bacterial defense mechanism against whom it is against bacteriophages. It is providing what type of immunity to the bacteria, either acquired or adaptive immunity. Now, this is an RNA-based genome editing mechanism. So, what is the role of RNA here? The RNA that was used here is a guide RNA. So, you can see here in this green color, what is that is a guide RNA. Now, to this guide RNA, what we can see is that we are adding, this guide RNA is added to this CRISPR, that is a long palindromic sequence. So, to this palindromic sequence, which is seen inside the bacteria, we are adding a guide RNA. And what is the peculiarity of this guide RNA? This guide RNA is complementary to the mutated region. Apart from that, there is something else here. This guide RNA is targeting one enzyme towards a mutated region. And what is that enzyme? It is a Cas9. It is a Cas9 endonuclease is the enzyme here. So, what you can see here is the Cas9 endonuclease. Now, what you see here is this guide RNA is CRISPR-Cas9, which is incorporated with this guide RNA, is targeting this Cas9 to the mutated region because it is complementary. So, after that, what will happen? This Cas9 endonuclease is doing something here. So, you just see this picture. This guide RNA is targeting it towards a mutated region and the Cas9 endonuclease is cutting this DNA at the two strands. So, it cut the mutated region using endonucleases. Now, after cutting, what we are getting? We are getting a defect in this human DNA. The defect is called as a double-stranded break. We know that there are two endogenous mechanisms in human body to correct this double-strand break. They are called as homologous recombination or non-homologous enjoining. So, either using homologous recombination or non-homologous enjoining, it is going to edit the human genome. So, based on this, there are various therapeutic uh, FDA-approved drugs which are used in beta thalassemia and sickle cell anemia and that is called as cas gavi which is used to uh, to correct this point mutation in these disorders so that is about crispr cas9 system and there was one confusion in one of the exam that is the crispr cas9 system was asked and this crispr cas9 system asked it is correcting the double strand break repair using which mechanism and in the option both hr and nhej was there then what is the answer you should choose nhej because in humans the most common mechanism to correct the double strand break repair is non homologous n joining so that's about the crispr cas9 system a novel genome editing mechanism so stay blessed stay happy and subscribe for more bye bye